Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe Audition CC 2022. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a multi-track template that includes all of the channels on your Rodecaster Pro that you can reuse over and over again. Just make sure you have the multi-track USB enabled on your Rodecaster Pro. Tap on the settings icon, tap on advanced, tap on audio, tap on multi-track, and just toggle on USB. Then in Adobe Audition, go to Audition, Preferences, Audio Hardware. Click on the dropdown for default input and make sure that Rodecaster Pro multi-channel is selected. Next, create a new multi-track session. So go to File, New, Multi-Track Session, or use Command-N on a Mac, Control-N on Windows. Give your session a name. I'll call it RCP for Rodecaster Pro. Template is None. I'm just gonna use all of these default settings and then click OK. Then you're gonna click in Track 1's name. We're gonna rename it. I'm gonna call this Stereo Mix. I'm gonna click on this little default input. I'm gonna go to Stereo and select Rodecaster Pro Multi-Channel Left. Click Arm for Record. Now it's time to add the four microphone channels. These will all be mono tracks. First, I'm gonna rename it. So I'm just gonna click, call this mic one, SM7B. That's this microphone here. I'm gonna click on this little arrow, change it to mono and choose mic one. When I click arm to record, since I'm talking to this microphone, I should see levels. So I'm gonna click and there we have it, perfect. Click on the track name to rename. I'll call this one mic two. This is the green channel. I'll click on the drop down for the inputs. Go to mono, mic two, arm this for record. Since I have nothing plugged in, I will not see any levels. Click to rename, mic three. This is the blue channel. Click the drop down, mono, mic three, arm for record. Click, mic four. I have the SM58 plugged into channel four. So if I click this, mono, mic four, when I arm to record, now I'm getting levels since I have this microphone plugged in to channel four. Now let's add the USB channel or whatever is playing on your computer. I'm gonna click USB. I'll keep the stereo input and choose USB left. Arm for record. We need to add three more stereo tracks for the remaining channels on the Rodecaster Pro. So go to the top menu, multi-track, tracks, and select add tracks. Click here, we're gonna change this to three and select stereo. Click add, click to change the track name. We'll call this TRRS, this is your smartphone channel. Click the arrow, stereo, choose TRRS left, arm for record, click track eight. We'll call this Bluetooth, click the arrow, stereo, Bluetooth left, arm for record, and the last track, click. We'll call this sounds, this is your sound pads. Click, stereo, sounds left, arm for record. You'll have the master mix channel on the bottom. To save this multi-track session with all of the settings that you have applied to it, including the arm for recording and any track effects, go up to the top menu, go to file, export, and select session as template. I'll keep that for Rodecaster Pro. I'm gonna include the markers and the metadata. Click OK. Template will now be available whenever you create a new multi-track session. You have a new podcast interview and you want to record all of the channels on your Rodecaster Pro on their own channel in Adobe Audition. No problem. You're gonna go up to the File menu, go to File, New, Multi-Track Session, give it a name, choose your location, now you're gonna click on the template dropdown and select the template that you just saved. In my case, it's RCP. It's gonna remember the sample rate, bit depth, and the mix. So if you want these changed, you're gonna do so before you save the template. Click OK, and just like that, you have all the tracks named with every channel. So any sounds that are coming through your Rodecaster Pro will automatically be routed to the right track. And that is how to create a multi-track template for your Rodecaster Pro. And my name is Mike Murphy. 